infected. The Halo Last Man Standing Helmet. And I'm feeling a little bit of deja vu right now. This is the third time we've done this video. This is episode three, the final episode of our Helmet Trilogy. And what a journey it's been. I'm filming these back to back right now and I just can't contain myself. These are the brand new helmets from Halo Mega Constructs. You know, some people aren't into the helmets. They want to just get raw Halo vehicles and figures. This is, I mean, honestly, honestly, I, I you know, I, I put a lot of energy into my videos, but this one in particular, well, these two so far have blown me away. First of all, we had the Oddball, the Skull Control Helmet. And this one is a, a game type I would not usually play, Oddball, where you can have the Anubis battling for the control of the skull against the Mark VII. It comes in a very strange color scheme helmet, one that I totally dig. It would have made sense to make a red helmet, but they went straight for this yellow design, which I just think is awesome. And they have also been making an assortment of yellow figures recently. And then we had the blue Capture the Flag helmet, which I do not joke around with you guys. This is my favorite set that I've unpackaged on the domain so far. And I feel like I change my mind every single episode. But the fact that it comes with two flags and they're this gorgeous translucent material, this is totally wild. And yeah, these two sets have done nothing but impress me. So, you know, there's a lot of expectation going into this one, but I can't see it disappointing. I just can't. This is the green Master Chief helmet. And we've had a ridiculous amount of Master Chiefs so far in the Halo Infinite line. I think we're going on something like six. This is probably the next one, I guess this also counts as a Master Chief, and it wouldn't be a fair review without comparing it to the other green helmet that we've had recently. I did a live stream where I built this from scratch, it was an epic time, and this is awesome, but honestly, even for the price, I might enjoy this more. I love these little bite-sized helmets. I thought when I got them in the mail they were going to be way bigger, but I really enjoy this scale, particularly for displaying because let's be honest, we all have a short amount of space. You know, we're trying to be efficient on our dioramas all the time because we got so much product. So this is the Last Man Standing set. Yes, this helmet is epic. It looks like those old Halo speaker systems, or maybe like a motorcycle helmet, and then it also has a brown back piece, which does remind remind me more of the old micro build helmets. We used to get helmets back in the day, but they came with micro builds. This time Mega Constructs has switched it up and done what I think is a far smarter move, which is including little dioramas. I have always been begging Mega Constructs, begging on my hands and knees for proper multiplayer reference packs. Don't worry, they're clearly listening. And they've brought us three sets, all just celebrating the different classic multiplayer game modes in Halo. Halo. Same as before, we've got this. This is actually going to be part of our diorama display. First of all, we've got a bulldog shotgun coming with this commando, which I think it was a surprise when I first saw that Mega Constructs was just continuing the commando line into Halo Infinite. The recon is a brand new mold, right? And so is the Gungnir. And here he is from the Spartan armor pack, my metallic greeny boy. I love these metallic greens. I think pretty much every Spartan has been metallic greenified by now, all of the new Halo Infinite Spartans, that is, so I just can't wait to continue that in the future. I've never been a fan of the plain greens so much, but these metallic greens are right up my alley. So this Carter comes with two different shoulders, which is very nice, and he's also rocking that classic new look of half limbs, different colors, black and cream, sort of beige, like camouflage, like this is definitely a camo kind of figure. I never expect the weapons to be painted in these sets, though I was surprised that the Master Chief came with a painted shock rifle. Take it away, Carter. I feel like that's one of those things that is just like sort of not unanimously agreed on. Like everybody has a favorite different noble team leader. The most people like Emil. Like that might be a fair assessment. Me personally, I love George. I really like to see Spartans showing uh, a lot of empathy. And this one, you may notice, is a bit of a spooky figure. I'm well acquainted with the Mega Constructs glow in the dark figures, but it's very cool to see them make a return. Hit the lights! There he is! Spooky! I think that's a little too dark. Let's bring the brightness up a bit. Can we see him? Are you there? 
<laughs> no, I turned the last light off in the room and it disappeared. Okay, there he is, he's back again. So that glow in the dark feature is epic. It was always a favorite of mine. And I used to have the Last Man Standing pack one and two in my bedroom. Late at night, you'd wake up in the night and you would just see the, there's just like some faint little glows from the other side of the room and your zombies are alive. <laughs> last Man Standing sets, always some of the best mega constructs ever made. And I also own a one of a kind Last Man Standing set. It was unreleased. I'm the only one in the world that owns it. So I really do love my Last Man Standing sets. It's always got a very, very soft place in my heart. Build this little structure up. This is actually a lot more detailed than any of the others. It's pretty fun that you have a vine that's sort of like growing around the side of it. This one, it takes a little more time to like actually build something up. And this rod is what makes this set really cool. So this is the only set that actually uses the helmet in the build. You insert the rod into there. Who are you gonna have flying through the air? The zombie. Yes. That commander just got a nasty surprise and he's in trouble now. Oh, come on. But then again, you know, I think, I think the odds are definitely in the commander's favor. If you've got a shotgun with pretty much any rounds, you can take out a zombie pretty easily. This also displayed really nicely. I find it comical on the Mega Constructs instructions. He's sort of just like sat there. Oh my goodness, guys. I cannot believe it. Especially, especially for the price of these things. We have got one, two, and three. <laughs> oh no. Two that have survived. One, two, and three helmets. Don't tell me you're not impressed by these. They're the coolest little micro dioramas I've ever seen. Like, they're so sweet. To finish off this review, because we're getting distracted now, let's switch up the lens and take a closer look at these Spartans. The glow-in-the-dark Spartan Gungnir. Now, the Mega Constructs community are not unfamiliar with this kind of Spartan. We've had a lot of glow-in-the-dark figures before, and it was a little bit of time since the last ones. The Faithful vs. Fallen were sort of like a lime green. They weren't glow in the dark. And this white stripe is also nice yet subtle on his helmet. The silver perfectly contrasts around the body and then this black knife is great. It's got the old school green energy sword, which some people would be like, why are they going back to the old energy sword? I'll tell you why. Nostalgia. We're at this point now where mega constructs or mega blocks can feel nostalgic and the old Last Man Standing sets came with these amazing lime green energy swords. So that's how I want it in this set too. Bulldog shotgun with this commander. I I love this new sort of brown. Every single piece of armor is slightly different. It like smudges all the way through. I love the metallic green and it's such a step up from the old like Halo 4, Halo 5 green Spartans we had. It's just so much better. Like my favorite set, I really don't know. I think it might be the catch of the flag, but they've all got some really nice features. And I would definitely say out of the three sets, these are the most detailed figures. I could not comment negatively on these figures or these three helmets. So my friends, this brings us to the the end of our helmet trilogy. Three days straight as an introduction back into this genre of like micro helmets. Mega Constructs did a bang up job and I cannot wait to see what they expand with in the future. There's so many possibilities and I said that back in the day when we got these helmets originally. I'm saying it now, we need more helmets of all different kinds. And thank you very much for tuning in today and supporting all three of these videos and also supporting the hashtag race to 30k. We are weeks away from hitting 30,000 subscribers. I've got so many videos coming up up, including a snap build and review of the hijack ghost and a live stream this Sunday that you should definitely check out. This was another video with the domain. Let me know in the comments down below if you played Last Man Standing or Infection a lot on Halo. You played on Halo MCC now. You stay awesome out there. Stay safe, everybody. And the helmets are signing off. Dun 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 dun. over.